Hey guys, I had the honor and incredible opportunity to sit down with a truly remarkable woman, Judith McGauley. Not only is she a competitive athlete and a coach in her own right and a champion in her own right, but she is also mum of the amazing, inspiring Daniel McGauley, an SO lifter. And she talks about what the sport means to her and to her son and how it's made him find a place where he can belong and in her words when he gets under the bar the bar doesn't care who he is he is just like anyone else this is a truly inspiring and uplifting story and i'm very grateful that judith took the time out of her very busy schedule to sit down with us at worlds and share so that we can share with you. Welcome to Coffee and Conversations with Champions, a place where we share inspiring stories of ordinary people doing extraordinary things so that we can find a way and realize that we too can build lives that are extraordinary. Enjoy, guys. Us. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Are you nervous? Yes. Okay. <laughs> As we were chatting a bit earlier, we were talking about sitting down with uh, newspapers, slightly different to um, to sitting down with yeah. uh, people. So, guys, we are. So, let me go check that out. I can switch to this camera and I can talk to that one. So, we're uh, sitting down live with Judith Magoli. Did I get that right? And she is Daniel Magoli's coach and... Mother. Mum! Exactly. How fantastic is that? So, all right, Judith, let's, um, we basically tell us about, uh, how we were chatting about how Daniel got started, and um, I'd love to hear that story again, so. Um, well, he, he, went, he was overweight. He was, he was in a wheelchair. Mm. Um, he was overweight, and we started taking him to the gym, and uh, he wanted to do weights. He saw the weights and that's all he wanted to do. The treadmill was, was his favourite to start with. But then when he saw the weights, he lovingly looked at them every week. And we said, no, you can't do that. And then so one Saturday afternoon, he decided he was going to do some squats with a, overhead with a tyre. Right. And <laughs> there was a young coach in there and he decided that um, Danny was, showed some potential and he would coach him. Right. So Dan went from strength to strength from that. Okay, fair. how long has he been competing? The first competition was in Vancouver in 2015. Okay. Is it colder here or there? <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, actually, it was really nice. Okay, all right, really lovely. Nice. So what has powerlifting meant to Daniel? Um, freedom. Because he's no different to anybody else when he's under that bar. Um, the, I suppose the only difference, he has to train constantly. Right. Because it, his concentration is not awfully good. Okay. Um, whereas probably before a competition, I would probably rest and rest afterwards. Whereas Dan trains right until the day before a competition. Right, okay. Uh, but um, he gets under that bar and the bar doesn't know he's any different to anybody else absolutely and he also follows exactly the same rules the same signals the same as same as everybody else yeah. and he enters the competition but no disadvantage to anybody else right which is fantastic right and that I mean, that's the incredible thing about the sport the bar doesn't care who you are no. the weight doesn't care who no. you are it's all you there's no luck there's no oh I had a, a you know someone helped it's no. it's unbelievable yeah how is that sort of how has that made him feel about himself I mean it's qu it's quite a personal question but he's when Daniel's lifting he's more or less equivalent to his age right but any other time he can or when he's stressed he go back goes back to Thomas the tank engine Right. But he can talk to a power lifter and he's got friends that follow him all over the world. He's made, he's made from Vancouver. They still keep in touch with him. Every right. competition we go to, 
they they're there and they and they support him. Um, they've never treated him any different to anybody else. Yeah. And I think this is this is the thing that's, that Dan's, you know, he's, he's he's just no different. Yes. And he's got friends, and he can talk to them about his weight, his food. I mean, he's, mm. he's, he loves his food. Yeah. Um, he, he'll talk to somebody about their improvement on there, what they're lifting, and how what he's doing. His next competition. Right. As, just like we are. Yes. I mean, he's, he stutters a lot because he's. he's because he didn't speak until he was uh, 16. Okay. And we thought he was never going to speak. Um, so his speech is, is not good. But he can talk to somebody, as, as you know, one to one. Right. And that's that's brilliant. Uh-huh. He, he, he doesn't have to talk about silly things or, you know, he, he can talk about what, what interests him. And that's that's, that's wonderful. Uh, how have you guys found the community brilliant. in the sport? Yeah, brilliant. I mean, yeah. he's, I mean, he's supported everywhere, everywhere he goes. Right. I mean, I think we we went to one competition, um, and they sort of looked at him, and it was it was a bit of a cold shoulder. Mm-mm. But uh, once once he'd lifted, you know, they was they were so shocked I think that how well he lifted right and the the head ref came over and she said in actual fact to him she it was been an honor to referee to referee okay. you today that's fantastic sure what's it meant to you as his mum in terms of what this what the sport has given him well as I said before it's just freedom I mean he's, right. he's the, the world I mean he he's very very patriotic right well, for him to stand up on the podium and get a gold medal for his country right and with his flag I mean that meant so much to him yes it's and, and you know and, and, and all the support sure. I mean when we were, when he was tiny we used to say when he was he was always invited to birthday parties and things and I used to say to my husband I wonder if all this has changed when he gets a bit older mm-hmm. and it's the same with this the first competition he went to he met all these people from Canada, Australia, New Zealand, you know, I mean, and they all still follow him all these years later. Sure, that's fantastic. And then the future, he's sticking with the sport, you're sticking with the sport. You've told me you've started lifting now. Okay. I lift, um, I've, I coach, um, I sadly failed my refs exam. Okay, don't worry, which one? Uh, for, to, to ref. Okay. So I oh, you're doing it again, I take it. Hopefully do that again. Absolutely, yes. yeah. I, I missed by a very, very small fraction, apparently. Okay. It's, it's terrifying, though, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. So, okay. And when I can't lift, um, mm-hmm. I should probably try and referee or continue to coach. To coach. Okay, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Have you got um, sort of any words for parents out there? that might be in a similar situation uh, no, n- for never, the sport. Never take, yeah. No, I mean, I mean Dan, Dan, we were told that Dan wouldn't survive. Right. I mean, he was told, we were told he, he might make his first birthday. Sure. <coughs> uh, he went through three lots of open heart surgery. Right. He's had about 40 odd lots of surgery. Uh, but they're determined, I mean, the determination. And when you see, you know, this, you see the look on on, it, on his face, and he's done yes. it all himself. Yes. And he he works so hard. Right. But he goes to the gym four or five days a week, and that that's his happy place. That's, that's his yeah. safe place. Oh, and he's, fantastic. He's, uh, equal to everybody else when he's there. Right. Where, where, when is he lifting? Saturday. On Saturday. At Equipped. what time? Um, nine o'clock. Okay. Seven o'clock weigh in. He lifts at nine. All right. What 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 is his social media handles if anyone wants to follow him um, and jump on board? Oh, I have to think of this. All right. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> Dan, uh, he's, they call him Glory. Glory Dan McGawley. Right. So it's something like that. Okay. We'll we'll I'll have a search and then I'll post yeah, it in the comments. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Judith, and I think I mean Eddie yeah. Hall follows him, and there's a lot of people. Yeah, that do that's follow fantastic. Him, so, um, 
So the guys want to support him, they can tune in on Saturday yeah, at yeah. Uh, 9 o'clock South yeah, African yeah, time. I think he weighs in at 7, he starts yep. lifting at 9. And this mm -hmm. will be his first international equipped bench press competition. Oh. Wow, okay. So he, 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 uh, he's not mucking about. Because he normally yeah. lifts uh, raw. Um, three lift. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, he does equip, but he does okay. raw as well. As but well. He okay. normally does three lifts. Lifts, okay. So, um, Fantastic. And he's... Uh, Lifts, lifts heavy in his, in his um, three lift competition. Happy, okay. So, uh, we just hope he does well in his equipped bench. Well, from what you've told me, he's a fighter. Absolutely. A Judith, thank you so much thank for you. your time. Thank you thank for you sitting down much. with us. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Thank you.